Welcome back to Cooking on a Boat. Tonight we're uh, crossing the Georgia Strait, and uh, when we get to our anchorage, we've got some nice steaks we're going to cook up. And with them tonight, I want to make some scallop potatoes, so I'm going to get them in the oven now so they're ready for uh, later on. So uh, to do that, basically we're just going to leave the peels on, wash the potatoes, and thin slice them. That's the uh, diesel motor running in the background. We're still traveling. So nice thin slices with the potatoes. I like them like potato chips. Cut through them with a fork. It's gonna be delicious. Ready to go. So I've got a uh, couple of uh, small silicone uh, uh, trays. I've got my onions sliced up finely, my potatoes all sliced up finely. I'm going to start by putting a little bit of butter in the bottom. Those potatoes, I don't want them to burn, so a little bit of butter in the bottom would be nice. Give it the right flavor as well. There we go. And then we're just going to start layering very gently, very carefully, layering potatoes. And we want them all beside each other, overlapping that kind of stuff. We don't want them just stacked up. So a layer of potatoes go in there, just like that. And then what we do is we put a layer of onions. Just like that. Just stack them in there deep. And then, we mustn't forget the salt and pepper. There we go. That's coming along. Do that again. Another layer. We're going to try and get three layers in these little uh, uh, containers. Might be difficult, but we're sure as hell going to try. That was too bad. Potatoes. Flour. Every layer needs a light dusting of flour. And what that's going to do is that's going to make that nice soupiness in there. Salt and pepper. And I think this layer deserves a little bit of cheese in it. Mmm. Looks like it's done, eh? No. I'm going to get another layer in there. Just a thin one, mind you. And here is the uh, ingredient that's going to mix it all up and make it all beautiful. Put some cream in there. And the cream is going to steam through those potatoes and cook them with a rich, beautiful flavor. There we go. Delicious. What's that look? 